hi guys happy new year i'm back i'm back for good this time and today i'm so excited to share with you how i built a sofa i used frames in the following sizes which i had made by my fundi three pallets and 12 curved wooden legs which were also made by the same fundi so let's start i started by fixing the legs to each of the pallets i did this by tracing the outline of each leg to the base of the pallet drilled a hole at the center where the screws would go then pre-drilled holes in each of the legs I used this Akifix adhesive and 12x2 inch chip put screws to create a strong joint. After ensuring the leg was tightly screwed, I flipped the pallet over and repeated the process for the remaining legs. The next step was to join the backrest to the pallet, and I did this by pre-drilling holes on the frame to make it easy for the nails to go through. I also used the Akifix adhesive for this step. Then I summoned the strength of my ancestors and my ancestors' ancestors and drove the nails in using a hammer again and again and till I finished the frame. The frame was by far the hardest bit. The rest of it was quite easy. I used these shoe tacks to attach the foam sheets onto the frame. I used three foam sheets in total, which I got from Gikomba. I'll link the cost of which item I used and where I got them in the description bar. This step was quite easy as the shoe tacks easily went into the wood, so I didn't need to use too much force. When I was done, I placed the cushions and moved on to the next step, which was covering it with fabric. I got my fabric from Gikomba, 15 meters in total, which catered for both the upholstery and the cushions. Starting with the backrest, I cut the fabric to size, then folded the corners and pinned them to the back using the shoe tacks. It would definitely have been better to sew it up, but I didn't want the hassle of having to take it to a fundi, so I just opted to use the shoe tacks. The cushions I got were slightly smaller in width compared to the pallets, so I had to cut out extra pieces to fill in the gap.
After this, I cut the fabric to size and flipped it over the backrest and nailed the edge to the pallet. I put the cushions back in, flipped the fabric over them and smoothed out the surface, then nailed the edge of the fabric to the underside of the pallet. While nailing it, I made sure to stretch the fabric as much as I could to ensure it was as flat as possible over the cushions and foam sheets. When I was done, I trimmed the excess off and threw my cushions in, and voila! I finished up the corner seat using the same process. ran out at some point and I resorted to folding two pieces at the arm. I figured it would be covered by the cushions anyway so it wouldn't be that visible. Threw in all my pillows when I was done, and that's it. You can get these pillows from the Instagram store Style and Vogue. I'll link it down below in the description bar for you. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!